What's up, gamers? We are back with a set of battles from the Ultra League, and this was the worst set of battles I've ever had. It was just terrible lag. A lot of things happened that I've never, ever seen before. But let's get into these battles. Um, so I'm up against this right here. I'm really scared of this dynamic punch. Like, I just, so I switch. And of course, here comes this stupid mill metal. Um, yeah, so I just Dragon Claw all the way down. If you have the candy to, to invest into a mill metal for any league, I would invest in it. It's a good investment. Um, but I just stayed in here hoping, waiting for my timer to switch so I could get out. Um, but like I said, he had that Polyrath in the front. So I use Polyrath a lot too. It's a very good Pokemon for the Ultra League. Um, the Dynamic Punch and the Ice um, Punch is a deadly combo um, for a lot of the meta. And when we use the word meta, um, I guess it's like the top ranked Pokemon. But honestly, I don't think there like is a meta um, because you can find the right combination of pretty much any Pokemon to put into this league and you can get wins. So right now, I shouldn't have switched into this um, Sizor from the Charizard, but I just decided to anyway, just because it was just like a, a muscle memory thing to just swap, just because he swapped when I had a good when I had a good um, matchup. And here's the lag. And this is exactly what it was. This battle right here, I was going to win this battle um, because that Charizard had way too much energy and those two Blast Burners were gonna like KO. Um, and it got stuck right here. Like it never threw the move. It never did anything. Like it just sat here and sat here and sat here on this screen. So, of course, I reload the game. I come back, and I took a loss. Mm. So, here we are. I met up with this Galarian Sunfisk, and I, actually, I have no idea what to do. Um, I know he's a steel and ground type, I believe. So, I have no idea. So, I just stayed in here, and I wasn't going to use any blocks. I don't believe. So, I don't know what I ended up doing. Um... I think I ended up switching into Garatina at the last moment, like just to keep that size or alive. Um, a lot of times I do that just to like have an extra Pokemon as an extra shield if I need to down the line. Um, I know it ruins my switch timer or whatever, but I don't really care about that. Um, I'm not that talented of a battler anyway to worry about stuff like that. I just try to get a dub. If you can't afford a legendary getting uh Gyarados um is a great thing because it's cheap to get a second move for it and it can have a lot of various moves that can help you out in different um scenarios um and it's cheap like I know everyone's caught bunches of magic carps and if you just got into the game then I'm sorry that you just they haven't had an event yet where you can rack up on magic cards, but there's one coming soon. So at some point in time, there'll be an event where there's tons of magic cards, so you'll get a chance to make a Gyarados. Um, but that's one you should have. And there's just another L. And you, it was what you're going to see a lot. And this is what you never see, a freaking Aggron. And that's how I know that the algorithm on the in this Battle League is crap because this is the one Pokemon like I did not want to see at all. Like, at all. Like, it resists sing every, sing every single thing that I'm trying to throw at it. Um, it looks like I'm in a great spot because he switched. He shouldn't have switched, but he did. Um, I don't think he should have. Like I said, I'm zero IQ. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking as I'm doing these battles. Um, but I let him take me down right there, and then I switch right back into mine because I still had that one saved up, and I just farmed down. Um, I think I blocked this just so, oh, I don't block it, okay. And I switched into this right here. And right now, I should have went for the blast burn right there, but he didn't use his shield. 
Um, and that cost me the match, pretty much, because I didn't have um, enough energy for this Agron. Like, watch how this Agron stomps me with that. Uh, I think it has SmackDown or something like that. Stomps me with it, and that's pretty much the game. I usually catch, like, bad leads. That's why, like, that's how you really lose in the Bellator League. But I got a mirror match for the first time right now, and it's obvious that he m might not be running Dragon Breath. I don't know. Or maybe he was tapping slower. Or I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening there. But, um... I knew that I would win that matchup simply by how, by fast move, how, how powerful it was and how... It was eating him down, and I wanted to have the move priority this time. So we swapped, and I swapped. Um, I should have just went for the iron head, but he didn't go for it. So this time I went for it, just, and then I KO'd, and now we're in this mirror match. I think I blocked this right here because um, I knew that this Night Slash would do somewhat type of damage, so I got a block right there. Um, and now let this one take me down, I think. Yeah. Then I bring him back in. I got a lot of energy on it. And I got a dub on that one. So I think that was the only win that I got. Besides that first one that was going to be a win before it wasn't a win. But this is the final battle of the video. Um, I want to thank all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button. Um, and if you got this far to the video, you know what I'm saying? We're family. Um... I want to thank D. Allen De Niro on the beat. He came through with some heat. I appreciate him. Um, there is a word in this video. If you find it, hit me up on IG, Bottom Feeders USA, with your cash app. I'm still trying to do a giveaway, get these tickets away. Um, and before I go, I got to let you know, if you're trying to stack your dust, Catch My Go is a must. My name is Modem. I play. And like Serena Williams, I'll see you in the next set. Peace.